In tutorial 2, question 3, we have the following problem. And there's a pressurized tank, uh, which has liquid at the bottom and pressurized air at the top. There's a pipe going out the side, which is angled at 70 degrees. Um, and a portion of that pipe is filled up with the liquid. Um, and there's a, a length of pipe that is given from the height of the, the fluid inside the tank to the point at the top of the, the level in the pipe. So the question is, calculate the air pressure in the container in figure one, neglecting the drop in fluid level of the tank due to compression and displacement. Note the liquid levels in the tank and the tube are equal when the pressure in the tank is at atmospheric pressure. All right. So, <clears throat> the pressure of air in the tank is equal to the pressure at the bottom of 560 millimeters column. All right, so in other words, the pressure acting down on the fluid is equal to the pressure exerted in the fluid itself. All right, so the pressure is rho GH, where H equals vertical height of liquid. We're given an angular or a distance of 560 millimeters, but that's along the pipe at an angle. All right, so <coughs> rho is 0.84, which is given to us, times 1,000 will give us 840 kilograms per cubic meter, the density of the fluid. So therefore, pressure in the tank is equal to 840 times 0.81 times 0.1915 is equal to 1578.29 um, pascals. All right, so you may be asking, where does that 0.1951 come from? If we just draw a quick diagram, and that is 70 degrees, that's 20 degrees, and this is our height H that we need, and this is 560 millimeters, then we can work out that the sine of 20 degrees is equal to h over 560, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So therefore, the height is equal to 0.56 sine 20 degrees, or 0 0.1915. Five meters. That's what we substituted into our equation to get our value of one five seven eight comma two nine pascals.